It's mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 15, verse number 34, as well as the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 27, verse number 46. When Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when he was put on the cross, he cries out, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? In every Bible, any translation you pick up, any language, whether it be English Bible, Hindi Bible, Tagalog Bible, French Bible, German Bible, any Bible you pick up, this word, Allah, Allah, Lama Sabakhtani, has been maintained in its pure form. Why? Allah knows the best. Why have these original words have been maintained? And then the translation says, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? But the original, Allah, Allah, Lama Sabakhtani, has been maintained for reasons best known to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In all the Bibles, you pick up any version of the Bible, King James Version, RSV Version, New American Standard Version, New World Translation, any version out of the hundreds available, any language of the Bible, this verse, Allah, Allah, Lama Sabakhtani, has been maintained. And the translation, if it's the English Bible, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Now, if you want to try it out, that people say, but natural, Allah, Allah, Lama Sabakhtani, does not sound similar to my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Does it sound similar to Jehovah, Jehovah, why has thou forsaken me? And the answer is no. Now, if you translate this verse into Arabic, Allah, Allah, Lama Sabakhtani, it will read, Allah, Allah, Lama Taraktani. Hebrew and Arabic, they're Semitic languages. Allah, Allah, Lama Sabakhtani, Allah, Allah, Lama Taraktani. This sounds similar. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, too, used the same word Allah, Almighty God. And this word Allah, I being a student of compared religion, is mentioned in the scriptures of the major world religions. That's the reason we Muslims, we prefer calling Allah, by the word Allah, instead of the English word God.